Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in to another episode for NightAnalog.com. Today I'm looking at a, uh, a pouch. No, um, inside it actually is the ASUS UX31 ZenBook. Now it is gorgeous. Um, straight up you can see just how thin it is. At the front it is 3 mil and on the back it is 9 millimeters thick. So we're not talking about a thick laptop or something that's going to take up a lot of space. You know when you carry it in the uh, envelope style thing that they give you, it looks like you're carrying a parcel for somebody or a telegram. Um, now, beautiful glossy finish on the outside, just to give you a tour around it, um, you know, we've got a USB port on the left hand side with the headphone jack and a uh, full size SD card slot. On the other side, the power in USB 3, um, micro HDMI, and the bar, and the monitor out as well. So, also, just with on those notes as well, while I'm talking about it, it comes with these little attachments as well. So, because it doesn't have the RGB um, port built onto it, um, it gives you this little attachment as well, which is the uh, the you know little port to RGB, which is great, and the USB to Ethernet adapter as well, in case you're not wireless in the world and you need to plug in with a hard wire, which is great. Um, something I wanted to point out before I get into the real laptop is the is the charger. Um, now, compared to the Folio 13 that I reviewed recently, this charger is much nicer. Um, it's a lot thinner compared to it. Um, you know, it's good to see a laptop charger getting a bit smaller. Yes, it could be smaller again, but uh, this is great, especially if you're traveling with your um, with your ZenBook. You don't want to carry such a th thin laptop with a, with a really large um, power adapter, and this is actually a lot better than I expected. And you can also change these for the country that you're in as well, which is another plus. Um, and it comes with a little pouch as well for those accessories. Really, really straightforward. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to fire this up um, and just give you a live boot up so you can see just how quick it turns on. Uh, just hit the power button there. Now, while it is booting up, I'll tell you it's got a 13.1 inch screen, which is 1600 by 900 resolution, so it's quite um, quite a nice, nice screen size. Um, this one runs an Intel i7 processor, which is great. Um, 4 gig of RAM and a 256 gig solid state drive. What it basically means is plenty of power and plenty of storage as well. Um, you know, I found this to perform really well. It felt like a proper laptop with with all the power, but obviously in a much more compact feel, which was which was great to see. Um, Bang and Olufsen speakers as well, which is producing really really great sound and quite loud too. Um, are we already there? We're already there. So I've already booted up. You can see just how quick it does go. Um, now, what else can I tell you about it? Oh, the camera. It's got a it's got a built-in webcam, which will be great if uh, you want your video chats to to make you look mysterious. I guess um, it's poor. It's 0 0.3 megapixels. Um, I know that you know you're trying to fit a camera in such a thin bezel, but yeah, I think they need to really upgrade that. It's just really sad. People who are buying these are portable, doing video chats. That they're doing Skypes and things like that. I mean, you can't give them such a poor camera because they will have to use one of the only two USB ports for a, uh, a separate camera, which kind of sucks. Um, that was one of the real letdowns. Now, I've got around five hours of battery life when I was using it in high performance mode. I use it in high performance mode because I found I was getting more out of it. You know, I hate it when the screen dims on me and things like that. I mean, for real world usage, I'm gonna put it on high performance mode. I don't wanna be limited by anything. And uh, I got about five hours of solid work. Um, if I put it in power saver mode, I know I'm going to be able to stretch it for probably seven hours, um, which is, I think on the site they say, you know, between seven and eight hours. Yeah, I can see that easily happening. Um, some of the other things I want to mention, I'll, and I'll show you the keyboard uh, now, is you've got a, a beautiful chiclet keyboard, and it looks really, really nice, and it's actually, I found it quite easy to use. However, the power button's in, in an odd spot. The power button is actually like a key, um, and it's right near the backspace. So if you're vigorously pressing that backspace key, you may accidentally press the power button. And you just want to make sure your window settings are set to uh, not instantly power off when that button's pressed. Um, so that was a weird spot for it. But to me, the, the space bar and the touchpad are, are misaligned. They're, the, the touchpad is, is to the right of the space bar a little bit, and I think that's wrong. It should really be in line with the space bar. Um, I just didn't like that. Now also, the, again, on, on the touchpad, it's like a single piece and it's very touch sensitive. So your, your clicking, uh, so your left and right click is integrated into the rest of the pad. So if you're pressing the left click, you think you might be in that zone, 
but uh, you're actually not, you're still moving the mouse or the cursor's jumping around because of it. And it's actually a really large touchpad, so if, if you accidentally touch another corner and you then click, you may find that you're zooming in, you know, with the multi-touch. Um, so I think the touchpad was a little too big and a little off-center. I think they could have made it smaller and put it in the right spot. Um, they're, they're sort of my biggest criticisms, it's just the layout of of the touchpad and the keyboard, and obviously that power button. I, I think it's nice that it's integrated, but it's not necessary. Um, besides that, I, I quite like it. I prefer it over the uh, the HP Folio. Um, it is really nice. Obviously, you need to check your prices at um, at your local stores, but it's definitely something worth checking out. It is just gorgeous. So uh, that's really all I'm going to say about it. I think that's all I had written down as well. It is. I'm now using a little whiteboard to uh, take notes. So that's it. Um, Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know on uh, Twitter or Facebook or wherever you want to find me, and we'll speak soon. Bye.